Greetings everyone. So in today's video I will show you how to use the OkCash Demon Wallet. Uh, I will show you how to use it uh, in two different ways. I will show you how to use it with two terminals and with only one terminal using the screen uh, command or feature or software, whatever. Alright, so first one, I'll show you how to use it with two terminals. Um, so yeah, so first of all, to be able to use uh, the daemon wallet, you need to um, have a RPC user and RPC password in your uh, config file. So go in wallet.okcache and then in the okcache.conf uh, file. And then should have a RPC user and RPC password. Uh, if you haven't set any RPC password or don't know how to use it, uh, or I mean, what password you should use, uh, if you haven't set one and try to start the wallet, it'll say, "Well, you don't have any," and take this and take these credentials uh, to well as uh, RPC users and RPC passwords. So they will suggest you uh, what to use. Alright, so once the okcache.com file has RPC user and RPC password, uh, you can, what you want to do is go to okcache underscore apps, and then you can start the okcache the uh, executable. Uh, it's probably, really, oh, it's already running, alright, let's try this again. Okay, cache D. Alright, so when you want so when you start the daemon, that's all it's gonna do. On the terminal, that's already gonna see. It won't do anything. You just have the cursor here blanking, not doing anything. Uh, and then you can just uh, well minimize this uh, terminal. Alright. So on the second terminal you can go back you can go back to uh, well, actually, you have to go back to OKCache, OK well, to OK underscore apps, and then that's where you can use the RPC comments. So you do the slash OKCache okay, D, and then whatever you want to do, do. So um, let's go help. And yeah, so this way, on the first terminal, you run the daemon wallet, and then on the second terminal, you call uh, the RPC comments as if you were uh, directly tapping in the console. Alright, and uh, I will show you a few basic uh, comments, but uh, please just write down in the description, uh, in, the, in the comments down below, what kind of transaction, uh, what kind of uh, comments you want to learn, what kind of comments I want, uh, you want to know. And yeah, so I'll make another tutorial later on on how to use uh, the different comments you guys asked. Alright, so first of all, one of the main ones you have to learn is, well, of course, uh, help. But also, one thing you have to learn is uh, get info. Ah, uh, god damn it. Alright. Okay, cash D, get info. Alright, so get info will, sh uh, will show you all the information of the wallet, uh, the amount of blocks you are uh, you have, uh, the version of the wallet, uh, your IP address, uh, data sent that I received, and yeah, so that's pretty much it, and also the t uh, the TX fees when you send the transaction. All right. Uh, another useful one is get network info. All right, so get network info will show you how uh, will show you well the network information, the amount of connections you have on the network, the, of, uh, the time offset, which is uh, how synchronized you are with the network uh, time-wise. So if your clock is uh, not synchronized correctly, uh, you might see a bigger uh, offset. 
Um, and yeah, so right now I'm reachable on IPv4. I don't have any limit and I'm reachable on the network and I don't have any proxy. On IPv6, I don't have any limit, but I'm not reachable either. So if there are people on IPv6 um, network, uh, well, if there's nodes using IPv6 uh, IP addresses, uh, well, I won't be able to uh, sync to them. And I don't have any proxy on here either. Uh, and also on the Onion, which is uh, the Tor network, I don't have any limit. I'm not connected to the Tor network, so I'm not reachable. I don't have any proxy for the Tor network. I2P either. By the way, Onion and I2P is our... Um, I don't know how we could say it, but it's they are encrypted. They are more secure way of having a IPv4 I or IPv6 uh, network, and you won't be able to. Do, uh, and the people that looks on, uh, let's have a look. Mm, okay, cache block explorer. Mm, network geolocation. All right, and people that uses um, all right, got it. And people that uses uh, I2P and the Onion, so those, so these two won't be able, uh, won't be seen on here. So we are, so we do have people using those. Um, well, yeah, those features, well, I'm pretty sure we do, but you won't be able to see them here. And also, shout out to everyone that has their nodes open, five in Brazil, three in Australia, and we also have two nodes in Japan. Uh, sometimes you can see one node or two in China as well. And yeah, all right. Uh, and then what else? Well, local addresses. Uh, you can see the port it's uh, it's connected to. I'm not sure what the score is, and well, your IPv4 or IPv6 uh, address. All right. So these two are important address you have to learn. And then, okay, cash. Uh, get new address. Sorry about that. Okay, cache D, get new address. Uh, so this way you'll have a new address. Uh, and also what you can do is, okay, cache D, set account. Uh, if I remember well, it's set account, address, and then tutorial. Yeah. So that's it paste tutorial there you go and you can see here it shows three addresses because I have three addresses for a tutorial and as you can see here the one that finishes by VN4G and VN4G is the last one I entered so yeah um, uh, I think that's pretty much it for uh, the simple comments. Um, also, uh, I'll show you how to send OKCache real quick. Um, so you can do send to address, and then I'll just take one of those addresses. All right, this address, send to this address, and then the amount of OK cash you want to send. All right, so let's say you want to send a thousand OK cash, then press enter. All right, so as you can see here, please enter wallet passphrase with wallet address first. Uh, so right now the wallet is encrypted. Uh, and I encrypted the wallet before but I will show you how to encrypt the wallet right now. So what you need to do is 
uh, well called Yoki Cash D comment and then you do encrypt wallet and then you enter the, the password you want so I don't know um, tutu toto whatever and then well running with an encrypted wallet uh, but encrypt wallet was called so it just says well you try to encrypt the wallet but it's already encrypted so well it won't work alright so once that's so once you encrypt your wallet um, you have to do uh, wallet passphrase and then uh, and then the passphrase you enter so to to Toto in this case, but I made I encrypt the wallet, and then you have to set a a time in seconds. Um, the wallet will be decrypted in staking in staking only. So if you want to stake, you'd have to enter a crazy number. So I don't know, like nine, 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 nine. Almost forgot. Uh, here. All right, so nine, nine, nine. All right, so six, nine. Uh, let's do the math. All right, get calculator right here. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so six, so six, nine, divided by sixty seconds. So you're, there's that many minutes, uh, that many hours, that many days. All right, so 11 days, so 11.5 days. Uh, let's add two more nines for the beauty of it. All right, there is. So three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, divided by 60. Divided by 60, uh, so that much uh, hour divided by 24, so that many days divided by 365. Uh, so that would unstake your wallet for uh, 3.17 years. So yeah, and then just press enter. And then you'll be able to stake for 3.17 years uh, from now. Alright, and now if you want to send the Cash, since that now it's uh, decrypt, uh, yeah, then encrypted. You can go to, uh, well, do send to address, the address, and then the amount of Cash you want to send. And then you just press uh, 1000. Alright, insurance funds. I don't have any uh, OK cash in my wallet right now. So if you want to go check, get balance. As you can see here, I have none. And so yeah, that explains why insurance uh, insurance funds. Um, also, a good thing to know when you want to send uh, um, OK cash is. Uh, well, as you can see here, there's no, um, if you watch the other video I made about sending OKCash OK from different addresses using the, uh, I think it's, uh, I'll just check real quick. It's called, uh, uh send, alright, coin control. So since, in, so since we're using the daemon, we're not seeing any coin control button. So when you have more, so when you have more than one address with uh, different funds, uh, what you want to do is use the command uh, send from. So you do send. Well, let's just um, get address uh, by. Oh no! Wait, wait, get addresses by account. Tutorial. Ah, uh, dang it. Okay, cash D. Alright, tutorial. 
and let's say we want to use this address here to send uh, coins so you would want to all right, um, send from and then you paste the address you want to send from the other way around alright that's it so it's send from the address you want to send from the address you want to send to and then the amount of OK cash you want to send uh, to this address right here so yeah that's the equivalent of using coin control in uh, the GUI uh, version of the wallet and I think that's gonna be it for the uh, main base com uh, comments I'm gonna show you guys today um, if you have any other requests for comments um, post uh, comments in the uh, below and I'll make another video later on with uh, the requests you made you guys alright so this part of the tutorial is finished I will show you how to use uh, one terminal right now and the way to do it you need screen and screen is a way to have a daemon in the back that runs in the background while it can still use uh, the terminal so you do sudo apt install sc install screen then as you can see here I already have it so I don't need to download it but yeah so once you download it you go screen and then I recommend to do s here and then ok cache and then you can start the daemon right here and I'll show you what this does um, in a few seconds alright so once you do this uh, you just get this and there's nothing more that happens so from here you press control A plus D and then so the reason why you want to use this is because then you get uh, well the PID dot the name of the window or screen so when you want to go back to that screen for some reason you can just go do R ok cache and then get back here PR presentation alright alright else you could also use the P ID here that would work as well but uh, let's say you close this you leave for a few hours and then you reopen your uh, terminal while well, it's easier to remember that you entered um, you entered ok cache and then a PID or also what you could do is just do screen and then dash list then it list uh, the PID as well but yeah alright um, so w once uh, it's running in the background all you can do is click HD and then help and uh, start using the com uh, different comments so you get balance um, get info you know those kind of things so yeah so that's how you use only one uh, terminal for both the daemon and sending the RPC comments um, so that's it for this today for today's video again if you uh, want specific um, comments uh, if you have questions about certain comments um, write, in, write comments in the, the, down below and uh, I'll make a, another video another video um, well later when I have enough well questions or request to build another uh, video with only the uh, comment you, you guys asked Alright, I hope that helped, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.